and welcome back to my channel. As it's coming up to August, um, well, tomorrow, um, it is time for the Newts Readathon. Back in April, I took my OWL examinations. I will link the video at the end of this video, so if you want to check it out, stick to the end. Um, and I took part in the OWLs, I did some reading vlogs and things like that. Um, for the OWLs, I chose Magi Zoologist. Um, and to get my owls for magic zoologist, I need to take care of magical creatures, charms, herbology, and potions. I did take them all. I also took every single lesson I could. So I actually completed my owls with all 12. I believe it's 12. All 12. So I was super, super chuffed. So for the next level, which is newts, um, there it's structured like a little bit differently. So for my newts, I need to get an O in care of magical creatures, E in charms, and E in herbology. So there are three different levels and all that kind of jazz. So that will leave me with seven books that I need to complete to obtain my newts to take on the career of a magi zoologist. So um, there are prompts that were available for this. Um, Book Roast puts so much effort into readathon um, she has this beautiful letter from professor mcgonagall um, that explains what the newts are and how you can take them um, and so for my newts let's run through and see what books i've chosen so first up is care of magical creatures and i need to get an o in that to basically pass it um for my magic zoologist career so for care of magical creatures it comes in three like so all exams come in three levels a e o so you've got acceptable exceed expectations and o for outstanding which is the highest grade in every single examination so i need to get an outstanding in care of magical creatures with which to be a magic zoologist so the first one for acceptable for care of magical creatures is follow the spiders why couldn't it be follow the butterflies a book title that starts with a letter a for aragog so i chose a curse so dark and lonely by bridget camera this was gifted to me from my wonderful friend bug um whilst i was away recently i did a book holiday haul um uh previously so please do check that out um so this was gifted to me and i'm so excited that i'll be able to start it pretty much straight away um on thursday i you know i've got a lot of work coming up over the next two months so i'm not going to push myself too hard with my newts but hopefully i should be able to read seven books in this coming month but yes the first one is a curse so dark and lonely by bridget camera up next to get my e uh, my exceeds expectations in care of magical creatures. I need a book under 300 pages. So for that, I chose Aquacorn Cove by Katie O'Neill. This is a graphic novel. Um, it's so so beautiful, but it is under 300 pages. So this will be a beautiful quick read for me. And to gain my outstanding in care of magical creatures, the prompt was grab onto Fox's tail, read a book with a bird on the cover. So I chose V.E. Schwab's The Near Witch. As you can see, there is a crow on the cover. So that's very exciting. So, um, so this will get me my outstanding in care of magical creatures. And I need to read all three of those to pass my care of magical creatures for Magi Zoologist. The next subject that I need to take is charms and I need to get an exceeds expectations in charms. So I only need to read two books for that. The first for acceptable is read a book that you think has a gorgeous cover. Um, and I chose The Tiger at Midnight by Swati Tirdala. Look how beautiful this cover is. It is so stunning, gold inlay there beautiful gold on the back it's just it's a gorgeous cover so this was a no-brainer for me and to gain my exceeds expectations in charms i need to read a comic graphic novel manga or book under 150 pages so i decided that i would read saga which is under just under 150 pages i think um either way it's a graphic novel so it counts and i'll be very excited to start this because i've heard nothing but good things about it and the last subject I need to take to gain, uh, to go on into my career in Magi Zoology is 
Herbology. And I've got to be the worst Hufflepuff for Herbology. I'm not great at keeping plants alive, honestly. I can barely keep myself alive. I keep my dog alive better than I keep myself alive, I swear. So, Herbology, I need to read two books for that because I need to reach and exceed expectations. So the first prompt was Mandrake, quick, put your headphones on, listen to an audiobook, and if not, green cover. I don't know if it's particularly well known about me. I don't listen to audiobooks. I really wish I could. When I was a child, my mother had um, Lord of the Rings on audio tape, and it's the only one I've ever listened to, and I really, really enjoyed it. But I've really tried to get into audiobooks. Um, and I've just really struggled. I either don't like the person reading it or I, I don't like something about it. I tend to zone out. I don't pay attention as much. I don't enjoy it as much. And I really wish I did because it would be a lot quicker way of getting through a lot of my TBR piles. And it'd just be another way to enjoy books. But unfortunately, I don't know. My brain's just not there for it. And I am one of those people that I much prefer a physical book in front of me so I decided to choose a green covered book and this was the perfect one for me Soulbinder by Sebastian de Castel I mean I think there's enough green on it to be honest I think I can get away with that so <laughs> this has green on the cover um so I'm very excited to get onto this because I love this series so so much um the there is a uh, I think it's the forbidden section part of the newts is to read spell slinger which I've already read and I've got all the way right through to this so um I won't be taking part in the forbidden kind of section um of the library book just because I have already read it and I am really enjoying this series um so I will be following on the series though and finding out what happens next to Kellen and last but not least, to gain my exceeds expectations in Herbology, I need to read a book between 350 to 390 pages. This took some looking for, because I was like, ooh, just, nope, too little, mm, not enough, ooh, too many, way too many. But eventually, I found that The Chosen by Taran Mataru fits into this category. I believe it has 300 and... To look just so that I know I'm right 358 358 pages so it just fits in there um, so I'm very pleased that I'll also be able to start this as well and that was all seven books that I plan on reading for my newts. I've decided if I manage to complete all seven, that I will be taking on some of the other uh, prompts um, from this uh, to kind of fill up the rest of my month. Um, but again, I am working a lot during August and September. I just have a lot of work coming my way. So I won't have as much time for reading, unfortunately. Um, as you can hear, I'm not particularly well. <laughs> Again, yay. I should just tell you in videos when I am well, because it's probably, <laughs> probably a lot less frequent than when I'm not well. But uh, hopefully I'll get all seven of those read. I'm really excited about it. I love the magical readathon readathons, and I will tell you all the time how much I love them because they're so much fun. The community is so great. I'll leave links to book growth and everything down below. Um, but it's so so much fun. So if you're looking for a Harry Potter themed readathon, or if you're looking for something to do during August to try and get you through that TBR pile of yours, this is a fantastic one to take on. I mean, there are a lot of prompts across all subjects because there's three prompts per subject and there's 12 subjects so there's a lot going on here um so if you wanted to even use these to try and get through your tbr take part it's fun um yeah it's just it's just a lot of fun but i will leave all of the links down below if you're taking part in the newts please let me know, say hi in the comments section. I'd love to speak to you. Um, you can follow me on all my social media so we can like chat and things, that'd be great. Um, but that is it, that's my TBR for Newt's short and sweet, seven books. 
I'm hoping I can kind of smash through that and do some extras. That'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, if you are taking part, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Whatever you're doing for the rest of today and for the rest of August, I hope you're a fantastic one ahead of you. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye.